Hey guys, welcome back. Part number four of Tamiya's 48th skill, F16. Now, short, sweet one this week. We're just going to take care of the ordnance, which is being aggressive. We don't have much. We have a pod and a couple of sidewinders. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey, hope you had a great week. Um, this one's going to be short and sweet because there's not too much to talk about because this is an aggressor. So, ornaments, as I mentioned before, and uh, a couple of jamming pods, and that's what we've got going on. So, here, section 29, um, or step 29, should I say, um, you're basically making um, a center pylon and four missile rails. A couple, couple on this one, again, you're following the steps. So, we're doing C variant. Um, so, we're going to have a couple of sidewinders on this one, a um, ACMI pod, and also on the previous actually, next page, I think it is. We're going to have a um, AN ALQ188 jamming pod. So, a couple of pods, a um, couple of sidewinders, and that's what we've got loaded out on this guy. So, again, A, B, C, and D. So, we're C. So, you can see here we're going to have a um, sidewinder. On um, it's upside down, so that's going to be the starboard wing, I believe. Um, we're going to have the the, um, the pod down the center, and um, see on C on the attaching on the right wing, we're going to have the um, ACMI pod. And on the um, it's getting a little confusing here. On the left left um, wing tip, we're going to have a sidewinder. So we have sidewinder on the wing tip, sidewinder underneath on the starboard wing, and um, a couple of pods. Now, following instructions here, um, I, here's one I prepared earlier. So I built the sidewinders, no problem at all. They just need to be painted, obviously, as all the parts do. Um, that guy's no problem at all. This one, built this one up again. Um, this is loose with a center pylon. Um, no problems at all building this stuff. And the launchers. So, two have the um, attachments here, which will go underneath the wing. These are the wingtip ones. And because, um, put instructions, because we only have one loaded with the sidewinder, the other one's going to be empty. We sanded off um, these two parts right here on the, on the side, just with a sanding stick, just sand it down, make it a smooth surface um, per the instructions. So this one's gonna be um, empty. This one's gonna have the attachment points, gonna have the pylon, I'm sorry, have the sidewinder, like so. And then we're gonna have, like I mentioned, we're gonna have a sidewinder on the wingtip and a sidewind, and a, the, this guy on um, the other wingtip. So, it's all built up, no problem at all really with these. Um, so really a case of figuring out paint on this and pretty much this is gonna be a medium gray and these guys are gonna be gray, like a light gray. I'm gonna just use Mr. Servicer, the gray color because it actually works good for the um, Sidewinder. So Mr. Servicer, like 1000 or, or um, 1200 for these and light ghost gray um, for all the pylons, the five pylons right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start priming and painting all these guys up and I'll be right back welcome back to the 50 shades of gray and um, run through here so the pylons as mentioned like ghost gray which is my preferred color is um, lacquer mr. hobbies 308 for sidewinders and um, missiles I'm kind of liking just to cut the gray of just mr. servicer so whatever doesn't matter if it's 12, 15, 1000, whatever the number is, it's the same color. So I kind of like that gray color, the priming color. Medium gray for this little guy right here. XF20, medium gray. Um, the tips of my sidewinders, I went with LP20, light gunmetal. And the fins went with steel. Um, I like this because you can hand paint it really well. Um, so my tip, top tip, which I talked about in my last build series, which was the um, the Hornet, was, um, or is, should I say, instead of a pointer brush, use a flat brush. And what I find is just, again, just, you know, this stuff just hand paints so well. It 
you can just re-get good. It, rather than masking it all off and painting it, you can just use your fat brush and just pull it up from the fin up and it gets perfectly just good straight line um, and a lot easier than falling around with masking or that kind of stuff. Or um, yeah, so flat brush is a way to go um, in this scale, I think, and it works pretty good for me. So paint the tips here, white put instructions um, of these little guys and that is pretty much it for the paint work. Um, tons of decals to go on here still. Um, so what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm just going to give these pylons a quick little wash. And um, same as the rest of the aircraft, which we use the dark dirt from Flory models. Showing this a million times on the channel, I'm not going to show it right now. Basically, just put some in a little container and a brush, just rub it on, leave it for 30 minutes and wipe it away, and it should show the um, the markings. I want to do these guys separately because I don't typically like to kind of really weather up my ornaments because they're pretty much clean most of the time. So I'm not really going to weather up, maybe in like maybe a thin wash or whatever, um, oil wash, but I can definitely give these guys and the pylons a go. Um, and then we'll start attaching these and getting the decals put on. Alright, so we're all done. Pretty straightforward really. So we've got the two sidewinders, the decals on, give it a quick little clear coat. Um, so two sidewinders. This guy, which I keep forgetting what it is, and it is the... As I quickly click for instructions. It's the um, ANALQ188 jamming pod. So you've got jamming pod, the spare missile launcher, um, which is sounded down, obviously, because we've got nobody um, going on this one. So it's been an empty one. And you have the ACMI pod, which is nice because you actually have two of these in the kit. So you have one nice one for the spares box. So you've got ACMI pod um, on the missile rail here again, all decaled up, not too many decals on these guys, and painted. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Not too much going on here. Um, obviously, it's an aggressor bird, but nonetheless, um, it's not. I really enjoy getting this stuff out of the way nice and early in the build because um, if you build the whole thing at the end, it's um, you just left. You know, it's, it's a bit of mojo sapping to do all this. But if you do it early on, get it done, put it in the box away, and then at the end, you just glue it right on and you're good to go. So short and sweet this week. We'll be back next week, which will probably be the um, painting where we're going to make some custom masks. So a lot more interest maybe next week. But thank you for joining me. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week.